question. Let's just talk about that uh, that tackle on uh, what third down? I think uh, mm -hmm. it just yeah, uh, seemed to have the edge on you and you just kind of chasing down. Yeah, uh, I mean, I had a we had a quarterback spy on. Uh, I was spying on the quarterback. Everybody else was in man coverage. I knew that he would get flushed out the pocket at some point because uh, the great job our defensive line has been doing all game. So when he did get flushed <coughs> out, it was mainly about just taking angles and not letting them cut back on you and trying to trying to make them see if he can outrun you. And that was and that was what I what I did and um, and also keeping them in bounds so the clock could continue to run. They would have to use their uh, time out there. You think you got a little uh, hand on the the shoulder pads or what? Um, I felt his jersey. Um, the biggest thing is I kind of pulled him towards me and then grabbed him with my other arm, and that's when we fell. So I'm a, it, in a situation like that, everything's just moving so fast, it's kind of hard to really determine. D, D says that after this game, <coughs> why, why can't y'all win it all? Are y'all taking that? Those, have y'all's ambitions gotten that high that you think you can be a contender? Well, our our ambitions have been that high. We uh, we always go into every game with a mindset of of you know, be, being our best and getting better, and and after when we get after the games when we get in um our meetings and our practices and everything, just what can we build off of? So um yes, I feel like that this raises the question for a lot of other people, but our goal has been the same and it's not going to change. And right now we're um we're just concerned about um Florida Atlantic right now. How do you think you did first first college start? Um, I think I did pretty well. I made made some mistakes. Um, uh, we went back and and graded it up and and saw who did what and what what mistakes occurred. But it's stuff that we can all learn off of uh, collectively as a unit and stuff that I know I can learn off of. And uh, I felt comfortable. I felt very comfortable. It's probably the most comfortable I, f I felt playing. And um, I think that comes with starting and and being the first <coughs> up there because it kind of gets all the jitters out, especially in a big game. But um, uh, I felt like I did well. How many snaps did you actually play uh, in the game? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's it's hard to really determine that. Just like a lot of people take keep count or, or try to find out their tackles. I just I just go out there and play. That that play that we talked about earlier with mm -hmm. you catching him. Do you feel like that was a big play? Because Ellis Johnson mentioned that, that was a key moment on that last drive. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely. I I felt like during the game um, that I there would be an opportunity for me to come up with a big play and. Um, you know, there are a lot of opportunities for many guys to come up with big plays. And um, that was, it definitely came at a key moment. And, um, you know, I feel like that was a key tackle to not just get them on the ground, but to keep them in bounds. So they were forced to take that time out and uh, a lot of clock keep continuing to run. How much pressure was it on you? So you were the spy going into the whole game. You were, that was your, your role in the game? Well, in certain plays, certain packages and everything, we, we switch it up. You know, uh, sometimes we don't have a spot. Sometimes we do have a spot. And um, um, I, I knew that I had a big role, but you always have a big role as a middle linebacker all the time in um, getting everybody set up and knowing where your help is on run support and everything. So um, it was – I don't think I felt any, any real pressure. It was just, you know, excitement and nervousness to be out there. But – it all soon went away when uh when we first got there and started hitting. How many times yeah. did you specifically spot? How many times was there a play called for you specifically? That that was your job. Uh, you I couldn't count. Uh, there was it was on and off. Uh, a lot of third downs, a lot of third downs when we knew that he would obviously his past situations and we knew that how he gets a lot of receivers open is by scrambling. So that was. It. How do you feel you did with the communication aspect of? The, of the linebacker position and, and being in your role? I feel like I did well. Um, with uh, the knowing that Texas, Texas A&M, their crowd was, you know, not obviously not as loud for when they were playing, they were on offense. So the communication aspect was good. Everybody was, was getting a call. Everybody was hearing me okay. And, and I feel like it went well.